Well, hello, everybody. What is today? Today is the... Wait. Today Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. So happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm doing some late night work, and I thought I would jump on super quick and see if y'all could help me out with something. So here I am. Um, so I'm painting a china hutch for my house and I have no idea what I want to do next. So maybe y'all can help me decide. Um, and I'll show you what I've done so far. I posted a little sneak peek on my page earlier um, of this. Oh, hey, Erin, hey. Okay, so what happened was I used to have a china hutch in my house. It was the very first piece I ever painted and I decided to sell it. And the only reason is, is because our house is set up so weird. Like there's a window that goes outside and you can see into the garage. Well, it, not, it wasn't always a garage, it was like a pass-through. Oh, hey girl, hey Malia. Um, so they decided to enclose it, now there's garage doors, so now it's a garage and now I have a window in my dining area that goes to my garage, okay? So I sold my china hutch because it didn't cover the, the um, window all the way and now I'm painting this one because it's bigger and I need your help okay so here's what I've done I have actually let's see if I can bring you in so this has been painted in Dixie Belle's aubergine and you can see bits of terracotta poking through okay and the reason I did terracotta is because I wanted to have a little bit of orange poking through to match my island because my island is orange with my fake distressing. And here's what I've done with the hardware. I love the hardware so much. So I've got the orange and the purple on the hardware. But here's what I can't decide. Here's what I can't decide. I don't know what, it, I don't know what color I want to do the top. What color do I want to do the top? Okay, so let me just paint the scenario for you. My island is orange. It's got black wax and my fake distressing in the, in the caviar. Um, it's all grunged out, but it's still pretty bright. Um, so that's that. And then we have a lot of blue in the house. Blue, orange, and now we're going to have a, a pur big purple china hutch. This is what the other part of it looks like. Mm. That's what the other part looks like. Okay, so I've taken the doors off. I've filled in where, like, where the hinges are. The little side thingies right there, they have like this mesh looking stuff. And it's got this really cool like hardware on it. Their, their doors also, the glass is broken. I took the glass out. Obviously that's gonna be purple as well, or aubergine as well, with some sort of orange on it. But what do I do at the top? Y'all tell me, what do I do at the top? Do I paint it black to tie into the island or do I paint it like purple? So y'all give me some feedback on that. So um, real quick, I'm gonna put another coat of Dixie Belle's Easy Peasy Spray Wax. Worst paint ever. Yeah, I don't like shelves. Mm -hmm. And I have a secretary desk. See that purple blendity ombre? Th oh my god, I just said blendity like Malia does. Um, the inside has got all the little nicks and the crannies and stuff. <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to painting that. <clears throat> Excuse me. This won't be so bad, but that's going to be awful. I was almost choked. So, um, so what do y'all think? Aubergine terracotta. I'm making it super black and matte. But I just don't know if I should carry the purple up to the, um, the top or do black to tie in with the thing. I don't know. Y'all help me decide. So I'm going to wax a little bit and I'm going to tell y'all also, in case you've been living under a rock, um, our beautiful tribe painting over borders it opens back up tomorrow morning we are accepting new family members um, so if you want to get in on that uh, the link is pinned there for you um, to check it out we've got discounted like wholesale pricing on websites we have affiliate programs we have special guests that come in every month creative and business um, lots of tutorials. There's a tutorial every week on a paint finish or a technique or something. We have something every week 
Um, and it's just $22 a month, guys. If you're wanting to expand your business, um, take it to the next level, learn some painting techniques from various artists in the industry, not just Malia and I, this is the place you want to be. And it's like a fraction of the cost of the other, you know, some of the other groups out there. And I'm sure they're wonderful, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think ours is pretty fabulous as well. So, got that coming up tomorrow. And it's just for two days. Two days, two days. Hello, hello, Penny. Um, and then we're gonna shut her down for a month. So we, um, we do that just so we can, once we shut her down, we can kind of focus on, on our, um, you know, our current tribe and spending, we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one time coaching and mentoring, Malia and I. We do a lot of one-on-one -on -one time and then we spend our time like searching for, you know, the top, the top of the top that we can, the cream of the crop for um, our classes and our tutorials and stuff. So we wanna spend our time wisely in there with you guys. Um, we do that, so yeah, affiliate money. Well, hello, Trish, thanks. <laughs> um, so this last month we had, um, Somebody come in showing us how they do their fabric painting. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Using chalk paint. Or no, I'm sorry, I think she used acrylic. She used acrylic. Um, we recently did, we had somebody come in and cover um, blogging. That was super informative if that's something that you're interested in. We kind of broke down um, some Facebook pages if you just had your Facebook set up or whatever and you know you were wanting some feedback on what you should change, what you should keep, we did that. I'm trying to think. I think next month we have our macrame artist coming in. That would be super cool. We've been talking about that macrame artist for months and we've I think we finally got her, um, she's available to come in. We have other things on our radar and we like to um, talk to everybody and say, hey, what do you want? What are you looking for? And whatever they're looking for, we go and get. We try to find them because Lee and I don't know everything. Thank you, Trish. We don't know everything and we don't claim to and we never will. So if we don't know the answer, we will find somebody who does. Um, another super cool thing I love is, you know, Malia is all in on this furniture business. Her and Isaac and her little baby, their their whole family, they're all in. And so you've got her aspect of the business and how she does things and how she how she does things, like how you do it all. Um, and so some people relate to her better than they relate to me. And some people relate to me in the fact that, you know, I have a full-time job and I do this on the side. So how do you balance the fake job, which yeah, so lovingly calls my nine to five, um, the fake job, the business, the group, the, the kids, the husband, like how do you handle all that? So somebody in the group is going through the same thing you are, whether it's Malia or I, or um, somebody else in there. And our participation rate is really good in that group. So anytime something is posted, like you can pretty much get an answer or a response instantly from somebody. So that's pretty awesome. So if y'all have any questions, just let me know. So I have never completely waxed a piece like as my finished, finished like top coat with the easy peasy spray wax. 
Um, I've always, if I've used it, I've always ended up going over it with like something glossier or whatever. So I'm actually going to, this is going to be my test run to see how well it holds up because I've heard from other brand ambassadors with Dixie Belle that it is like so durable. One thing that is really cool is it dries so fast, like 30 minutes and you're done. Like it's dry. I think that bottle is about done. So did you guys decide anything? Like black top, purple top, like what should I do? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck. I almost always, I hardly ever paint the top of my pieces the same color as the bodies. I very rarely do that. But I don't know. I'm kind of thinking this piece might need to be, I don't know. That's why I'm on here, guys. I need y'all's feedback. Got me some new like furniture driftwood on the top. That's pretty. Oh, I like. I have driftwood. I think. I do. It's over there. Um. To kind of break it up a little bit, yeah. So I was telling them. I don't know if it came in late, Christy. I have painted my at the request of my husband. My island is Florida orange with my fake distressing completely grunged out with um, gilding, black gilding wax. So I was like, you get an orange island, I get a purple china hutch. That's how it works. And that's how it's done. So um, I've got this and so I was, I didn't know if I should do um, a black top to kind of tie in with the island. Keep with the purple. I so indecisive. I don't think I would have this much trouble deciding if I were just going to sell it because if I were just going to sell it, I'd probably just paint the top purple to keep with, you know, the body. But I don't know. The whole point of the orange and the purple is to tie into that island. And guys, who would have thought, like, purple and orange on a piece like this? I mean, y'all don't have to like it, and that's fine if you don't, if it's not your style, I get it. But I think these two colors together are amazing. So amazing. So I have found with this spray wax, the first time I used it, I used a... Um, a natural bristle brush and it didn't it the brush seemed to soak up the wax so now I'm using um, synthetic oh my gosh. synthetic okay purple with black edging it's a good idea orange ties in well with the wood showing through on purple thank you Christy Hola, hola, hola. Okay. Um, that's done, right? I did all that. <laughs> Pretty sure I did. It dries so fast. I love it. Waxing is not my favorite thing to do. I hate to wax. I have slowly moved away from waxing stuff and just using like general finishes top coat or something on it but I love some pieces I just love to be like super super flat and this will this will achieve that look so and I don't know why I waited so long to get these furniture dollies I got them in this week and they're like a lifesaver. So does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions about painting over borders, what we're about? 
and I can answer them for you super quick. And then if I have time, I'll go show you the top of the hedge up close. What stinks is we had um, another thing that we do in there is we do a uh, practice paint show every Wednesday. Um, and that's just to kind of get everybody acclimated to doing lives and, you know, make sure their lighting is set up and their audio is good. So anyways, we did that tonight. And I went to go start on the top of the hutch while I was trying to decide on this. And I discovered the back is like completely busted up in the middle. So that stinks. Now I know why I got it so cheap, I think. All right. I didn't even do the other side. Where did you find the dollies? I got them off of Amazon. I did. So what I was using was the... Um, the sliders, like the furniture sliders, for the longest time. And they work, but they do get caught up. Um, I have tile and grout, I'm sure you can see. So I needed something, and I have a really bad back, so I needed something that would like move, so, I mean look, I'm sitting down, and, oh, I'm just broken out. And I'm moving this thing with my arm. Um, a bad back so I needed something that's like super easy to use or move around and these work perfectly I actually have um, I could post a link in here where I got them because I had to get like big wheels because of the grout I didn't want um, the furniture like catching on the grout or anything like that so this is the other one. Anywho, let me get this side done and then I'll show y'all the top of that hunch. And maybe we can work on that a little bit. I got some sanding to do. It's not fun, but it is part of the process. And it's interesting, um, a lot of people they just don't understand, you know what all is involved in this business and what it, you know, like all the work that we do to get a piece ready to put out there. You're about to see some of that hot mess. I did kind of um, slightly distress this as well. I, there are some areas where the wood is poking through. I don't know, this might be my favorite piece. It's pretty simple, but I love it. I like the big chunky hardware, the colors, I love it. I love it so much. Boom. Done. Okay. All right. Good night, Trish. Um, I'm just going to move y'all over here to the other side. Show you what I'm doing over there. Y'all having a good week? It's already Wednesday. School's about to start. I can't believe school's about to start. My daughter's like got marching band every day. Volleyball tryouts tomorrow. It's a hot mess right now. Last month or last year, I totally, I'm the mom that like ordered every single school supply item. I sure did order that on Amazon. I did. And I'm probably going to do the same this year because I hate going to the store. And half the time they don't have what they need. Okay. So here's the top. Look how big that monster is. It's super huge. Um... So I took the doors off. The doors had glass, um, had really pretty hardware on it, but of course I saved it. I saved the hardware. Sorry about that. Um, not looking forward to early mornings. Yeah, I know. Gosh. So I've been, I've been able to sleep in a little bit. 
um, with the big kids not in school because I don't have to take all three of them somewhere. And I'm fixing to have to start getting up early. But um, anyways, it had two doors with really cool hardware with glass. So I'm just not a, gl a big glass person. So I took those off. I, I didn't have any wood glue. So I naturally, you just go to spackling, right? Naturally, that's your second option. Um, so I'm filled in all the holes. This, these things on the side have these really sharp mesh thingies that go in here, right? Um, so I took those out and I'm not exactly sure, I don't know. All of the um, light fixtures and stuff in our house is like brushed nickel. So I don't know if I should paint that silver, paint it purple because I'll show you. I'm gonna make y'all dizzy. Let's come back over here. I'm gonna show y'all. So this hardware um, goes in the drawers like this, right? Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I don't want to leave them as they are. I want to paint them some way. I just, I'm so indecisive on this one. I think, I don't know why I'm more scared because it's going in my house and I'm like putting it out there for the world to like try to buy. I don't know what the deal is. So I've got this hardware here. Looks like this. However, on the little doors here, there's like this little doohickey thingy that I didn't want to take off. Isn't that awesome, the hardware, Aaron? So I started to do these thingy majiggers like the other hardware, but then I held it up to that and I was like, that just looks so funny. So it will basically still show the orange or the terracotta. It'll look like that. Right, that looks okay, right? I have not sealed these yet, so I'm trying to be really careful. And I think to seal these, I'm gonna use just a, kind of like a Rust-Oleum flat mat or something, because I'm lazy and I don't wanna wax those and I don't wanna like brush on anything else, because I'm lazy. And hashtag short on time, because you know, life. So anyways, that is, that's my, that's my project right now. That's my project right now. Um, I think it's going to be super cool. I can't wait to get it all done and show you guys. But um, if you guys have any questions about painting over borders, y'all let me know. Um, we're opening back up here pretty quick and only for two days. So the wholesale price is on website. If you're running, if you have an online business, guys, you need a website. Facebook has crashed like what, two times in the last nine or 10 months. If you don't have a website, how are you gonna do business? So that happens to Facebook and Instagram. Think about that, chew on that for a little bit. So wholesale pricing on websites, you get affiliate links, you get one-on-one -on -one with Malia and I, you get tons of interaction. Um, yeah, all the work to get this done Aaron, is terrible. Um, tutorials every week, a different tutorial every week on a paint finish, a technique, something, then you get two special guests that come in and do something either um, creative or business. They're like, we consider them experts. We've had Instagram expert, um, YouTube, Facebook, um, Pinterest. We've showed you all the things about Pinterest and Facebook and ads and setting it up and reviewing it. And anyways, it's, 22 bucks a month guys it's 22 bucks a month invest in your business if you're super serious if you're super serious about your business you've got to um, invest a little bit of money to learn the things and let us funnel all the informations in the interwebs let us get that and give it to you on the silver platter instead of you trying to figure it out yourself does that make sense because that's what we do um I think that's it. If y'all decide 
to give me some feedback, go ahead and put it in these comments because I'll take them. I'll take all the feedback I can get as far as this top. Give me all the, give me all the advice and let me think on it. Otherwise, I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta get up early tomorrow because my daughter has volleyball tryouts and like at 7.30 in the morning or something. So, all right, if y'all have any questions, shoot me a message. I've pinned the URL there for Painting Over Borders and I hope to see you guys on the inside. Y'all have a good night.